Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new, welcome. Today I am sharing a spring decorate with me. I will be focusing on my family room and also adding little touches of spring to my kitchen. This is the second part of my spring decor series. Previously, I did a spring decorate with me of my bedroom, and if you missed that, I will have that linked up above if you'd like to check it out. And I do plan to do at least one more video as part of the series. I'm going to be decorating my front porch along with my dining room for spring, so if that interests you, make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on that video to come. But thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Hopefully, it gives you some decor ideas and inspiration that you can incorporate in your homes. And without further delay, let's get started. Most of the decor I'll be using in today's video are items that I already own. However, I did make a couple newer purchases from Target of items that I absolutely fell in love with and they were a really good value. If you know me, you know I am on the frugal side so I don't like spending a lot of money on decor. So I definitely shop my own home before buying anything new and I recommend you do the same. It is amazing how creative we can get with our decor and I love when I'm pulling something Thing out of storage and it just feels like a brand new decor piece again so again highly recommend shopping your own home for your decor and if I can find links for different items or any items that I can find links for I will put those links down in the description box so as you can see I am beginning in my family room and for those who are new to my channel we have a two-story family room and we recently purchased these Ikea Billy bookcases to put on this back wall. And I am in love with these bookcases. I have been having the funnest time decorating them. And I just feel like they have added this coziness to the room that it was lacking. So I am going to leave most of the decor on these bookcases as is because I really like the arrangement. However, I am adding some decor items to these shelves in the center of the wall and I'm adding this artwork these two artwork um, frames that I got from home goods and I just felt like these looked very springy To dress up this table, I'm adding a basket to the bottom shelf and then for the tabletop, I'm just going to add a little stack of books with spring-like colors, especially that blue book on top. That goes very well with my decor theme, which is little pops of blue, which I, if you know me, you know blue is like my favorite color to bring into my decor. I love blue and I especially love the combination of both blue and white decor. Moving on to my fireplace mantle, and I like to keep the decor on the mantle very minimal. Obviously, with the TV being there, I don't want to obstruct the view. So I'm just going to add these two lanterns that I got years ago from Pier 1, and I love these lanterns because they are so versatile. You can fill them with whatever filler might be appropriate for the season. And since Easter's right around the corner, I thought I would throw in a few pastel eggs. And then to cover that white cord that is hanging down there, I just added a family photo. And I did like the way this looked. However, I felt like it was lacking some type of color it kind of looked a little boring so i added these two black candlesticks that i got from amazon i think i think i got these a couple years ago and i felt like that was the perfect addition to this mantle Since we use this ottoman as not only an ottoman, but also a coffee table, I like to have a tray on the tabletop. That way, if we happen to be drinking in the family room, we have a place to set our drinks. And that tray I got from Target years ago. I love it. It just looks so elegant. And this stone base is also a recent 
Target purchase that I couldn't live without. I got it for a really good buy. And I just filled it with some dried purple eucalyptus stems. And I have to mention that gray candle from Home Goods. That's a recent Home Goods purchase. It was only $7. I got it from their clearance shelf. And I love those little finds that we come across, you know, at Home Goods. Home Goods always has great prices. And to top it off, I just added some candle accessories that I got from Amazon. Moving right along, I'm going to dress up my couches by adding pops of color with pillows. And as you can see, all of my furniture is very neutral, so I love using pillows to bring color and warmth into the room. And I did recently purchase a few newer pillows from Target that I just absolutely love the texture, color pattern of them. So I will have those linked down below if I can find those links. I'd love to know if you decorate for spring and if so what decor theme are you going with this year i'd love to hear all about it so don't be shy leave those comments down below so now that my couches are all dressed up i'm going to move on to this sofa table that i have behind my couch and this sofa table is actually from wayfair i believe it was wayfair if if not Wayfair, it was overstock, and I will have it linked down below because I know I get many of you asking about this table, and I just love this table. I love the style of it. I love how the shelves just allow me to add more decor items and kind of get creative. So I'm just going to add a couple books that I pretty much keep on the, the shelf year round. They're kind of like my go-to books for this shelf. And I'm going to decorate those books with some beads. I love having these beads on hand. You can use them in so many different ways within your decor. So I highly recommend making a string of beads as part of your decor staple. And I recently picked these little orbs from Target. They were, I believe, $10 and they had a variety of different styles. They had, you know, a set of uh, succulents, a set of little green moss uh, ferns that were orb shaped and just I thought it was a good price. Definitely useful for filling bowls or vases and I liked the variety. And then for this bottom shelf I'm again putting this wooden tray that I pretty much keep on this shelf year round. There are some decor pieces that just they fit in a certain spot and they pretty much stay there um, in my decor. And again, I'm adding some more beads because why not? I love decorating with string, stringed beads. And to add a little bit of spring flair, I'm adding this little greenery that I ordered from Amazon last year and this basket which fits perfectly on this lower shelf and I'm going to fill it with this really cozy, comfy, throw that I got from Pottery Barn years ago. It's kind of like our go-to throw. I, it's, it's just so warm and so cozy. So recently I have been adding more stone elements, materials to my decor and I have to say I'm loving this kind of new direction I'm going with my decor style. It just kind of adds I don't know, a little more warmth to the room, if that makes sense. So this stone bowl, I'm going to fill with some green moss orbs. I got these from Kirkland's years ago and I use them in my decor pretty much year round. And I did kind of splurge on this, this lamp, this stone lamp I got from Target. And I am so happy I did. I love it. It's such a gorgeous piece. And even though it was a little more of a splurge, I feel like sometimes it's worth it to, you know, invest in a piece that you know is going to kind of last and that will make you happy. Sometimes it's all about just making you happy. Before moving on to my kitchen, I'm going to add one more decor item and it is this 
portable ottoman, I like to call it. I don't know if you call this a poof. I don't know what the correct name of this is, but this has been so functional. It is very, very lightweight, and we have used it in so many areas of our home. I've used it in my home office. We use it in, you know, at this accent chair we have in our family room as an ottoman. Here, I decided to use it as a side table, and I'm thinking I probably will even use it outdoors when we have our patio furniture set up. So if you see that, if you see one of these in home goods, I say pick one up. I feel like it's kind of a necessity to have in your home. Last but not least, I'm going to add little touches of spring to my kitchen. And to add those little spring touches, honestly, all you need to do is add a bit of greenery, whether it be fresh greenery or artificial. And so I'm going to begin with these shelves. And these are IKEA purchases. We installed these, or my husband installed these last year and I have been loving them. I've said this many times in my videos, how much fun I have decorating these shelves. So I'm going to add this pretty artwork that I got from Target recently. It was really reasonably priced and I felt like it was very fitting for spring. And you'll see me just kind of play around with the different decor, moving it here and there. That's kind of what you do when you are decorating shelves. You don't always get it right the first time. You gotta kind of place items, step away, place items, step away. So that's what I'm doing here. And I just love how it finally, I love the final look. dress up my nook table I'm just going to keep things very minimal by adding a simple table runner and this wooden tray that I got years ago from Kirkland's I love this wooden tray and if you follow my channel then you know I pretty much keep it on this table year round and to dress up the wooden tray though I'm going to add some artificial moss that I recently picked up from Michaels and if you are in the market for artificial moss definitely check out Michaels because I got a four foot roll of it for 40% off is a really good buy because moss can get quite expensive and I figured any extra I can use in other bowls, decorative bowls of the house, or even it's a great, you can use it to uh, fill a planter. Let's say you have a tree and a planter, you can put the moss at the base of the tree and just kind of dress it up. Finally, I'm adding a little more greenery and I have to mention these artificial artichokes that I recently purchased from Amazon. And as you are about to see, I'm gonna add them to this wooden bowl and I'm gonna put that on my island. And I just am so impressed by how realistic they look. And I'll have them linked below in case you're interested, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you got a lot of inspiration. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, I hope you consider hitting that subscribe button if you'd like to see more videos from me and also that bell so you're notified when I post a new one. But I hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate you and I will see you in the next one. Take care.